Mm. That. That is guaranteed a delicious combo. It is so good. Oh, the cheese is like perfectly salted. It's Swiss cheese. Um, and then the bread is really lovely. Oh my gosh. Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. We are in the beautiful Aventura, Florida and today we are taking you to a unique French bakery. But not just any French bakery, this has a Latin twist. And this restaurant was inspired by the Latin Quarter in Paris, which is really cool. I didn't even know there was a Latin Quarter in Paris. Um, and this restaurant has been in operation for over 20 years. This place is called La Boulangerie Bolmiche and I am looking forward to showing you what it's all about. And the nickname for Bolmiche, it is inspired by the Latin Quarter in Paris, which is really cool because I didn't even know there was a Latin Quarter in Paris. Um, but then as you can see in the atmosphere in here, it is very industrial, it is vintage. There's always something to look at in here. The walls are written all over coffee. And the really cool thing is they do everything from scratch in here. And this place is something where you can sit down, you can have a nice meal. They also have like salads, soups, sandwiches, or if you're in a rush, you can grab a quick coffee and a croissant. Um, so really, really cool concept. Let's talk about what we ordered. So we're obviously gonna try their cafe latte. <laughs> we got it with oat milk. Um, the coffee looks delicious in here and it smells really good. Um, then of course we're gonna get the Eggs Benedict. I love Eggs Benedict. We're gonna try the Eggs Benedict Florentine, which is the uh, English muffin. Then they have sauteed spinach, the egg on top, and then with the beautiful hollandaise. They serve breakfast here all day. I love that. Um, and then we're going to have the Croquet Madame R style. So this one is very popular. She said, uh, our waitress says that this is the number one dish that people keep ordering. Um, and it is a open French baguette with black forest ham, Swiss cheese, baked under two fried eggs, tomatoes, and a touch of bechamel sauce. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but I, love this dish. I've had the croquet monsieur, which is I think the traditional one, but we are going to try the one their style. And of course, little Alfonso wants to try their chocolate chip pancakes. <laughs> so we're going to have uh, two traditional pancakes, uh, buttermilk, uh, freshly made with chocolate chips. And again, guys, like I said, there's tons more options here. On the other side, they have French style gourmet sandwiches, they have fresh salads, they even have pasta. They make all their pastas al dente. <laughs> um, soups, 
They even have frozen food too. So if you want to take something for home, they have it here. Really excited to try this food and cannot wait. And I forgot one more thing that I think is really, really cool. If you get breakfast and you sit down, they give you complimentary uh, on the house freshly squeezed orange juice for the three. So if I get breakfast, Alfonso, little Alfonso, three orange juices, no charge, and a 10 ounce cup of coffee on the house. I think that's incredibly generous of this restaurant. So really cool. So our oat milk latte has arrived and <laughs> I like how they put two little coffee beans there just for decoration. Smells really good. Whoa, the cup. I love oat milk lattes, guys. That is smooth. <laughs> that is delicious. Sometimes the oat milk has different textures and flavors, but this one is really, really good. Mmm. And the coffee is delicious. The espresso. I believe this coffee is from Costa Rica. Costa Rica has really good coffee. It's near the equator. Um, so really always delicious and smooth. Mmm. Wow, guys, if you there it is, Costa Rica. Oh cool, I did not even notice that this is like, um, like a really nice, I don't know how to say, design. It kind of looks like a bag, but it has Costa Rica on it. Um, so I was right. <laughs> um, but really good coffee. If you guys come here, you need to try coffee. No questions asked. <laughs> So all of our food has arrived and it looks better than I thought. It is so delicious looking. Take a look at these pancakes. This is little Alfonso's. Um, they are drizzled with some sugar icing, I think. Um, and then they have chocolate chips in here. And this is the half order. So normally I think they have four pancakes, um, but we've got the half order of two. Presentation looks delicious. Let's drizzle some syrup on it. Ooh, it's fluffy. You can see the chocolate chips in there. Oh, they're soft too. Super nice. And those are soft. <laughs> wow. Wow. I like that they're not too thick. The chocolate chips, delicious, make it a little bit more sweeter. Um, but the softness, guys, that is really delicious. Some pancakes, again, they can come out like actually dry if they've been cooked too long. But these ones are really, really good. Just so soft. Wow. Mmm. It doesn't even need that much syrup because they're so moist. Again, some pancakes you need to drizzle in a lot of syrup, but these are really, really delicious. Mmm. And the chocolate chips are really, really good. Now you can get it with Nutella, um, but little Alfonso likes the chocolate chips. That is how you drizzle a pancake. <laughs> wow, really good. I know Alfonso is going to love this. They put a lot of chocolate chips in here. So it is really delicious. I shouldn't eat it all. Let's see if little Alfonso likes it. Okay, Alfonso, are you ready? These pancakes are really, really good. Here, I'll give you a smaller bite here. Watch how I drizzle it. Ooh. I know, are you ready? Here we go. Big bite. Did you taste the chocolate chips in there? Show the camera, you like it? <laughs> 
by Nando's. Oh, nice. <laughs> it is really good home style cooking, delicious pancakes. So moving on to the Eggs Benedict Florentine. Look at the beautiful presentation. The green of that spinach, it just looks like it was cooked at the right timing. You don't want to overcook spinach. Um, beautiful eggs, look how fluffy they are. Um, and then a really nice grilled tomato with some oregano it looks like. Let's see if we can get that money shot of that drizzling egg. There it is, everybody. Oh, look at that drizzle. That <laughs> looks so good. All of those eggs and hollandaise is going to soak up the Egg McMuffin at the bottom there. Or English muffin. So I've never had Eggs Benedict with spinach. They have tons of options here though guys they have it with like canadian bacon they have it with smoked salmon and then they have it with this okay let's try it that is great i love the hollandaise sauce a really good egg benedict has to have an amazing hollandaise sauce the right cook on the egg and then the bread at the bottom too. It has to be fluffy and light. Oh my gosh. Love, I love the green on here. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. Let's try this roasted tomato here. Ooh, there's a piece of garlic. Mmm. That's really delicious. I'm not like a super big fan of eating tomatoes like this, but that is actually delicious. I think they must have put some salt on there and then the oregano spice and they cleaned out the filling so you get that kind of crispy on the outside. Look at that big garlic. Let's give that one a go. I cook with a lot of garlic too at home. Alfonso loves it. <laughs> That is like, oh my gosh. That is a raw garlic. <laughs> it is crunchy and it is bold. Wow, raw garlic, so healthy for you though. Let's go back. Wow, the flow of this though, if you eat the Eggs Benedict and pair it with the tomato, really, really delicious guys. Perfect cook on the egg. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Really good. I love it. And there's an asparagus in here. Take a look. Right here. Let's pair it with the egg. Mmm. Good. I like the asparagus when it has a little bit of crunch. If it's too limpy and it's been cooked too long. Really good dish, guys. Super impressed, love the color. Hollandaise sauce is on point, everybody. Really good. So here we have the Croquet Madame and it's their style of the Croquet Monsieur. I've had this a few times, but this is their version. I mean, take a look at it. I think this is guaranteed deliciousness right here. You got a big boat of a baguette that they cook fresh. You got loaded with cheese. You got two eggs, tomatoes, and just a lot of cheese. Like, you can't go wrong with that. So I was debating, how should I eat this? Should I cut it? Should I pick it up? I think we're gonna just cut it. <laughs> and then we'll go from there. All right, let's dive into the middle here. Ooh, so the bread is crispy. Oh, so this is, okay, there it is. There's two, two sides here. Wow. Wowza. 
Wow, this is good quality bread. Okay, I'm just gonna pick this up with my hands. Look at this. You can just see the layers. Bread, black forest ham, cheese, and egg. You can't go wrong with that. Mmm. <laughs> that. That is guaranteed a delicious combo. It is so good. Ooh, the cheese is like perfectly salted. It's Swiss cheese. Um, and then the bread is really lovely. Oh my gosh. Wow. I wasn't expecting it to be this big too. Mm. And guys, this is the most popular dish here. Um, I know why now. I wanna get some of this egg. Look at that beautiful egg. Wow, they know how to cook their eggs here, everybody. You know what? This is difficult with your fork and knife, so I'm just gonna go for it. Oh. That was good. Let me lay this on top. Wow. That, it looks so good. The bread is perfect though. It's a beautiful baguette cooked from scratch. The runniness of the egg just makes it next level baguette. Mm. Wow. Mm. You just can't go wrong with that, guys. I love their version of the croquet monsieur. The bread, the cheese, the cheese though. The cheese really, really makes it. Mm. And the bread is crispy on the outside. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is so good though. Just this on its own, you know, without the egg, has so much flavor. The bread, I can't talk about it enough. I just wanna add a little bit of tomato onto my sandwich here. I'm sure I'm not eating it how you should. <laughs> this is my version. Ooh. With the tomato, it just adds up that tartness that you need and some juice too. That is incredibly good. Mmm, wow. Super, super impressed, guys. You can't go wrong with this dish. Super lovely. The cheese, I mean, it is a perfect dish. Love their version of the croquet monsieur. You guys have to come here, sit down and have a beautiful baguette. Really good. So we could not leave here without trying one of their homemade cheese and ham croissants. And they look so delicious. There's tons of flavors up there. We got the ham and cheese. Look at that. You can tell they take a lot of pride in their pastries. You can see layers upon layers of it. Looking so, so delicious. Let's try it. Wow, it is a solid croissant. Oh wow. Their croissants are so buttery and so savory. Look at that. And I know once we get to the middle, we are gonna be surprised with some cheese and ham. Wow. And it's just flaking off. So this has some density, but it is just so light and crispy on the outside. Mm. There's the ham and the cheese. Wow. This is so, so delicious, so savory. They even have sweet croissants, they have Nutella, they have guava croissant. But this is a solid, solid croissant. 
Mm. Wow. Really good, guys. Flaky, light. You can see there's air pockets in there. That is a delicious croissant. Wow. Mmm. The ham is really good too. You can tell they crisp it on the outside, but on the inside it is nice. It is soft, it is moist. Mmm. This paired with a beautiful coffee, guys. You can't go wrong. This French bakery knows how to bake. You gotta check this place out. Amazing. <laughs> wow, guys, what a delicious, unique French bakery in Aventura, Florida. You guys, everything was so delicious. The eggs were cooked to perfection and they serve breakfast all day, which is amazing. You guys have to check this place out. La Boulangerie, like this video, subscribe so we can continue making content for you guys. And on that note, just keep on, keep, no, no. keep on dancing. <laughs> Make you smile, ways make you see